I know I gave it months ago. I know you're trying to forget. I know I gave it months ago. I know you're trying to forget. I know I gave it, 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 Yo, what's going on you guys? Welcome back. It's your boy CK and this is the all-time New York team. Let's get it, man. We got the New York Jets, the New York Giants, and of course the Buffalo Bills. The only team that actually plays in New York, as you guys know, the Jets and the Giants both play in New Jersey. So for any of those wondering why the Bills are a part of this team, now you know. So starting off at quarterback, we have Michael Vick, 99 overall, man. I got a shout out to my boy Roderick, 88, helping me get a few of these cards. This team would not have been possible without him, man. We definitely have stacked players at almost every single position, man. I try to get players who I haven't used this year. Yeah, not, not definitely happy with Michael Vick at the quarterback position. It's going to be fun scrambling around him, throwing the deep bombs, and making after pass. Man, can't wait to use him. At running back, we have CJ 2K Combine Warrior 102 speed, 101 acceleration, 100 elusiveness. Oh, baby. And not to mention his backup. Look at this beast mode. He with a weak version. I didn't want to splurge and get the one that's like 300K because there's really no point. Uh, this one's just as good, man. All we need him for is a truck and get those tough yards through the middle and the goal line situations. Love my running back duo right there. And we're moving on to the wide receivers. Oh, B, J, look at the, look at this duo, man. OBJ and Cruz, Giants fans. You guys are in for a treat next season, man. Ugh, just filthy. I mean, look at these stats. 97 overall for both of them. OBJ has the edge in a couple categories, but for the most part, they're both very good, very talented receivers. I cannot tell a lie, man. We have Percy showing no mercy in a slot, man. Wide receiver number three, 97 overall speed, man. I have a lot of speed on this team. This is going to be a lot of fun. Probably the best team offensive-wise I've been able to use this entire might season. And we have Sammy Watkins at wide receiver four, man. This card is very underrated. I'm going to be using him a lot, especially in the red zone, you know, trying to get them fade routes. And, you know, if it turns into a face-catching type of game, I'm going to have to put him in the lineup. At fullback, we have Jerome Felton, man, 84 overall fullback, one of the better fullbacks in the game, 91 run block, 84 awareness, 82 strength, he actually plays for the Buffalo Bills, I believe, yeah, definitely happy to have him on the squad. Moving on to the lineman, we have Eric Flowers, the first round draft pick from the Giants, man, 95 overall left tackle, 100 strength, you can't beat that, man, 97 pass block, definitely, definitely happy to have him on the squad. You're going to see a lot of guys out of position on this line, that's just because there wasn't too many elite players, you know. So that's why you're going to see a Nick Mangold at left guard and also at center. I'm happy that he had more than one elite card because if not, I would have had to start like a 70 overall gold. And we're really not trying to do that. So we had to start some players out of position. You see DeBrickershaw Ferguson starting at right guard when his initial position is left tackle. And then we have Will Beattie also left tackle starting at right tackle. So yeah, they're very, very good. You know, they're just out of position. So hopefully it doesn't hurt them too much and hurt our performance on the field. At tight end, we have Charles Clay Movers edition from the Bills, man. 93 overall tight end, 92 speed, 96 catch. This is one of the most underrated cards in the game, man. I used him a little bit so far, and he definitely catches a lot of balls. I can tell you that much. So um, having him as a starting tight end is very, very good for us. We have Larry Donald backing him up from the Giants. It's a nice one-two punch right there. Now on to the defense, man. At middle linebacker, we have David Harris, I believe, from the Jets. Um, him and his counterpart, Demario Davis, are also going to, you know, man the middle and try to, you know, swat the balls that come across the middle and all that good stuff. So we have some speedy linebackers on our uh, team right here. We have LT Lawrence Taylor, 99 overall, legend edition. Man. It took me forever to get this card. It's all good. I mean, we had to do it for you guys. I try to get the best players in each position, as I said before. And we have Kiko Alonso on the left outside linebacker position. I could not get rid of this card. I only used him for, what, five games or so. And it was honestly my best card that I've used this entire year. I mean, it was so much fun just using him. Uh, you know, he's not going to be a middle linebacker anymore, but I'm still going to try to find a way. I'm still going to try to find a way to, you know, use him as much as possible. On to the D line, we have Bruce Smith, 97 overall, Legend Edition from the Bills, man. 80 speed, 96 strength, 95 block shed, 98 power move, just insane stats all around. This guy just gets to the quarterback. I love having dominant linemen. This is probably the most dominant lineman I've had this entire year, man. I'm happy to see my defense finally being able to make plays without me having to do so much. At D tag, we have Damon Harrison and Marcel Darius, two 
very underrated D tackles, man. I used them both earlier in the season, but not for too long. So I want to bring them back, see what they can do for us. And yeah, we have the first round draft pick from the Jets. I think that's Leonard Williams, 96 overall right and 99 strength. Oh my goodness, they just juiced these rookie stats, man. I'm not mad at it because there's two of them on the squad. So hey, we're happy to see what they can do, man. At cornerback, we had a brand back. I gave the entire cornerback position to the Jets. Um, Darrell Revis, you already know what he does, man. I don't have to say too much about that. But they did come out with a 99 overall Camardi as soon as I completed this squad, which really, really ticked me off. But, you know, I really wasn't going to get him regardless, even if I had all the coins. It was either get Camardi 99 overall version or finish the rest of the team, so I had to do that. Obviously, I had to get this series started. We have Buster Scrine at the cornerback three position. Let me know if I'm missing anybody else. I already used DRC and Prince Mukamar earlier in the year. So I'm just trying to use some brand new faces. At free safety, we have Leron Landry, man. 99 hit power, 97 pursuit, 94 speed. Very underrated card right here. Hopefully, he can get in the air and swap some balls, pick some balls off, make some plays. Definitely excited to see what he can do for us. And then at strong safety, we have Dante. Hit him hard, Whitner, baby. 94 overall, strong safety, 87 zone, 92 speed. I underrated card once again. We have two hard hitting safeties. Gonna be looking to force a lot of fumbles, even though. You don't really see too many big hit fumbles in this year's Madden. It's mostly strips, so we're just definitely going to see what they can do on the field. So yeah, that's basically the squad right there, man. We definitely have a nice team. Probably, I don't want to say too early, but it's Super Bowl or bust for us, man. I'm going to try and play a full season with this squad. I know it's been a while since I've turned out one of those. But yeah, I'm definitely looking forward to play with this team, man. It's looking like it's going to be a lot of fun. So um, hopefully you guys did enjoy this little lineup update, man. If you did, hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe for more. I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.